When there is so much to tell, where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Never seen this. Start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. This is awesome. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, she came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova. The cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. It's a good recap. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Our seeing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, and the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. But the fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. Hell yeah. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. Dr. Sephiroth.
make you go. There's no way around it either. Just have to go through. Let's not waste any time. Also, this thick is dangerous. Hold still. Stand back. Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Mm -hmm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him... He is anything but. We should press on.
on now. Sephiroth, take the lead. On you. Come on. I won't let you down. Sephiroth, keep stealing my thunder, man. Steady. 
Show them what we can do. Get him. Your teamwork going on. I'm not going to use any crutches for this. No precision materia. I'm going to do it right or I'm not going to do it at all. There'll be more. Also, won't be using any autocast material, at least not on myself. Might equip it to other people. Like Eris. Aerith. Eris. Technically, it's both, so who cares?
Oh, Tifa. I'll wait your turn. Now, motherfucker.
Don't like the looks of it. Stay alert. Get him. Follow my lead. Yo. It's been you grabbing me. Take it from here. Hey, there we go. Soldier teamwork. Nice work. Hey, he's warming up. Nice. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here. But everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. Here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too. Please. Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on. Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. Ah. <sighs> you better keep me safe. wanted to see the reactor. Just check. Didn't expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last-gen models. Then let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. To tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't.
it's not this hard. Kidding me? Did I do something wrong? too long since I've played this. On the plus side, all my reactions will be genuine again. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first? something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... these little events where they intensify the pressure on the triggers. The immersion in this game is crazy. Uh-oh. I remember this part. <laughs> for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators, cages for animals, infused with Mako, all to birth a new breed of monster. 
But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. Goodbye, Sephiroth. Am I even human? Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Mm -hmm. 